this godforsaken place for. The thing that may give us a new goal and a hope for the future. After the dark, claustrophobic bunker, the vastness of desert seems to embody freedom. I must deliver the maps to the Aurora, but I don't think anyone will mind if I take a few detours along the way. This desert seems to hold many secrets worth uncovering. Hello again, welcome to the stream. I'm Monkey Blimp of the Time Mercenaries, and today we are going to play Metro Exodus. Uh, as you can see, we are on the desert map of the area, uh, the third, third area of this game. We've almost done all the jobs. We have two. I think we have two places to check.
cave. Let's see if we can find anything useful. Did you bring here, you cretins? Why is he armed? And where the fuck is Saul? Incompetent fools. Ah, he's one of the newcomers. Huh. Color me intrigued. Good, good. Everybody, save for the guest. Out. Cretins. I'll have to ask you to put that weapon away. You see, the guards are getting nervous, hmm? Ah, thank you for this wise decision. Okay. Well, young man, now we can talk with masks off, huh? I take you didn't expect to see me here, huh? <laughs> yes. It's hardly surprising. Nobody would expect that. So, the cretin that he is, sometimes does show surprising creativity. I have to give him that. Destroying what remains of the resistance, getting rid of the rich and rooting out treason in one fell swoop. This plan has... grandeur. So that's why I'm sitting here. I don't even remember since how long. Looking at my property and listening to my double on the radio. Uh, that double has a way with the radio, I must say. Using him as a mere clay pigeon even seems like a waste. Ah, well. <laughs> if anything, there's too many talents among my people. See this portrait? Does it even look like me? Of course it doesn't. The artist is a prime case of... one talent too many. This cretin painted this off my double. Should have been a spitting image of me. But I don't even recognize this face. I can't remember where the painting came from either. <laughs> no matter, though. Let's talk about something else. Guests and trains, for example. <laughs> oh, we've been waiting for you. We do have ears in the vest, just like you have... used to have here. Don't take it personal. But all of your spies had to burn for offending the Holy Flame. <laughs> Holy Flame. A man's got to know his limitations, you see. I have a right to laugh at that bullshit because I invented it all. I don't remember when, though. But that don't matter. What matters is that even I keep the facade up when there's slaves around. And anyone so crass as to publicly, to in public, offend the Holy Flame. Okay, come on, is fine. an enemy. Is that clear? You people should learn subtlety. <laughs> then we might even cooperate. I doubt you were sent here for nothing, after all. Hmm? I have received some reports on your latest adventures. Thank you for taking care of that checkpoint in the port. Now, regrettably, whenever an organization reaches a certain size threshold, it starts accumulating... ballast. Incompetent, mindless cretins incapable of taking care of one man with a whole team. In this light, your actions, young men, not only didn't harm my organization, but on the contrary, made it stronger by weeding out those garbage humans. I'm truly thankful. Well, I must give credit where credit is due. You don't waste time. Subtlety, not your strong suit, young man. Didn't you help that witch escape from the lighthouse? <laughs> oh, don't shy away from taking credit. It was all part of the plan. If not for you, she would have been rescued by Soul's men. Everything must look natural after all. You will kill the accursed Baron. The oppressed people will rebel. They will be headed by the new leaders of the Resistance. 
Shit. Gule will by right take the tyrant's place. Many of his Shit. old flunkies will swear allegiance to her. At that moment, she will discover that in addition to their freedom, the slaves will have gained hunger and thirst. <laughs> Gule knows nothing of the effort it takes to supply all my subjects with the barest of necessities. Shit. And when they, dying of hunger with parched throats, start praying for the whole... I'll put that weapon away, will you? We don't want to give the guards any ideas, you know. Ah, good. Very good indeed. Where was I? Ah, I remember now. And when they, dying of hunger, with parched throats, start praying for the holy flame to save them, I will rise from the dead. <laughs> and I will be their salvation. Such is the will of the holy flame, young man. Such is the will of the universe. The holy flame. When did I get the idea, I wonder? It's a great idea, too. Uh, eh, no matter, as long as I had it. I'll kill him after I get to the... Oh, wait a minute, where are you going? What was I going to say? What else? <gasps> ah, it came back. Finish your speech, man. The holy flame. When did I get the idea, I wonder? It's a great idea, too. Ah, uh, eh, no matter, as long as I had it. Young man, I must say, you never disappoint me. Huh. Freeing the slaves, what a noble pursuit. Now, having had their fill of freedom in the desert, with no equipment or protection from mutants, the survivors will finally understand what it is they really need. A human is... Essentially, a simple being with very basic needs. Some food and water, a modicum of protection from the desert of reality that surrounds us, and what is most important, purpose. Yes, Serving the will see. of the holy flame. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes, young man, I am a bit drained. You're welcome to enjoy the pool. There's entertainment ready. Are you done, man? if it has any negative impact on the gameplay or the story I kill the bear
kill the baron. Ballard doesn't work always, it sometimes just breaks down. Sorry about that. Oh, Brock's keeper friend, is it Tanvir? Tanvir, kick up a boy. Sabalard, shop shop, catch going on. Oh, didn't take that. Yeah, sab dilo, catch kollo. Our record for this one, sometimes doesn't work. Very annoying thing. अब आर रिस्टर्ड दी तो हमें स्ट्रीमलेट्स तले इच्छा लगा चुके हैं। अहम भाई एक ता झामेले पुरे किसी माने ए एरिया जे मेन बॉस विलेन पुरे पाइसी अहम और चिंता भावना एक दिन दे एकुरे और जो जो मानुष जे स्लेव कोटे रखे पर और एंगल ठीके जिन्स पे तो एकुरे इच्छा कर लोरे अहम इजीली मारा फ ऐसे सोफिस्टिकेटेड विलेन खूब कॉम्पैसिव तो तांडिया पीसों ने देखो 
এক ব্যাটা লগে কথা বলছিস ব্যাটা কথা বার্তা শুনতে ভাই চিন্তা করতে হবে না Bye, Ranger mode kill this. You gotta understand. Oh, the rector will kill him. Our pure health jaga. And I am so combo bully. Ranger mode na kill him. Only one. Do you know what's next? चेन्नई देखा लेजर लगा रख सी ओह देवर्स बीस्ट आउटसाइड आई थॉट आई वाज सॉल सॉल इज़ द गाय दैट आई This is optional exploration. There might be. 
be an upgrade somewhere around here. Okay, there's a safe. Okay. Ah! <laughs> 
I am Gucci, time to the so it's okay. It's totally fine. Heavy stock and grip, stability butter. Nice to have. Extended mag, always nice to have. Second area, almost. Check the area. 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 I upgrade Gula Jono. Fuck this. So shit. Icha kolle ekhon boss se matte matam main boss se ye dia. But boss se ya but ya apko da chula kisi boss se loge kotha gaya or philosophy shuna halak se or idea halu jodi o villain ye jono or achha da achha bolsi. But I'm going to go to the philosophical. I'm going to the philosophical. I'm going to go to the philosophical. I'm going to go to the philosophical. But last fight, I'm going to go to the philosophical. I'm going to go but our philosophy is not all like this. We are not going to die. Area six, I think. Almost six. Six cards six. Almost six cards six. Because protect the protect the slave for the bad guys. Optional cards will be available. But they will give a good ending. Because when the optional cards are there, the slave for the bad guys will rescue him. Then there will be a lot of optional cards. Everyone! 
so-called Baron, but his terms proved to be unacceptable. The will hold us where they get the water, but naturally, the well is guarded. Baron, they're 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 the mirror recounted the place and says we could infiltrate it stealthily. So, Martin, when you're ready, go rendezvous with the mirror. Your goal is to bring water to the Aurora. Failure is not an option. Good luck, Artyom. I... We are all counting on you. Crest, how's the weather? Thanks for coming by to see the guys. Grand Payerma. Come here. Uncle Artyom, is this for me? Wow, thank you! Look, Grandpa Yermak, I have my own canteen now. Artyom, while you were out, I finished well, making one more thing for the tea house. The workbench is at your service. Your and so, did you try the new ammo out? Wow, Should work great you. with all this oil around. I figure the Holy Flame would be pretty happy with them. Hmm? <laughs> Mom, Uncle Artyom just gave me a canteen. <sighs> I'm yes, feeling kind of under the weather. Say thank you, bitch. Not my best day Say ever. thank you. I'll shoot you. What have you got, idiot? What can I say? We clearly didn't come here in vain. Got it all figured out? Sure seems so. The radiation levels are plotted in color. Ha! They even have the radiation level dynamics here. When is it from? Mm. So where's the water? Okay, I'll get to the water. Rafa gala gala bhalo ito. Sneak it for the shooter, Rafa gala.
Are you ready? How are the guys doing with no water? While you were away, I scouted it out a bit. Gil says lots of people used to live in these caves. Uh, there was basically a real town. But then the geysers opened up and they all had to flee. As you might suspect, we're approaching the spring through the back door. Let's go! <gasps> well, the bridges are burnt now. Let's climb a bit higher to get a better look around. The cave isn't going anywhere. What's that? Huh? Ah, Shaitan! Stupid bats! Yeah. This place is totaled. When setting out, I kind of had hopes of finding something about my people, if not my relatives. But now I find out. And it hurts. Steady, steady. I am Aha, right at the entrance. <laughs> Get ready, Artyom. Charge the torch, check the filters, and other gear. I have this feeling, a vaguely unnerving one. Well, to hell with the feelings. Here, let me give you a boost. Give me a boost bitch. I can't see a dumb thing. Oh, wait! Arjun, masks on! I'm in
Well, let's continue. Looks like we're almost out. Follow me. Wait, I have to make bullets. The passage to the spring. Let's go. Another cave in. My filter's almost done for. Look, light! Here! Move, bitch! Get out of the way! Well, the air seems alright. Masks off. Let's try to do it quietly, without the unnecessary bloodshed. The slaves are innocent. Look, water! See that car? I'll move there and hide behind it. The gate is controlled from that tower. When you open it, I'll rush the car through and you leap atop the tank. Good luck, and try not to kill anyone but the oilmen, alright?
there while you're still... Let them see me. Who the fuck is that? So nice Take not to expect the bullets of a knife in the back of the I hope we stay here for a long time. It's the enemy! As usual.
Jesus. him out then push it Sneaking mission one by one. Save it regularly. It's fucking dead! Yeah. I can't change to an appeal of time. But did the boys tell you anything about those? They're as good as the Guys, get your 
Coming here was already a mistake. It's been worse. It has. Just don't remember when. That was a clean operation. You should have seen their mugs when I started the car. <sighs> well, at least we didn't hurt the slaves. <laughs> Looks like
Artyom, watch out while we're on the mission. We'll be praying for you. Ah, uh, come on. It's Artyom we're talking about. It's made of steel. Just listen to him walk. But yeah, man. You better keep up your eyes open out there. Be careful, he will be there in the nick of time, of course, but don't go taking unnecessary risks.
skeleton crew. You cannot go through the gate. Go through the prison cellar where the Munai by Lair keep the slaves. Uh, uh, yes. In any case, the plan is this. You and I will try to take their guards down quietly and get in through the gate. If quiet does not work out, we will at least distract them, while you get in through the underground. <sighs> Let's go. We'll, we'll walk with you. Don't lag behind. I have a favor to ask. If possible, don't kill the slaves. They're not. They just obey the Manai by Lair. Obey the Baron. They're afraid, that's all. <laughs> way to do it is to get through the slaves bay I don't know where to get there how to get there if possible don't kill the slaves they're not they just <coughs> obey the Manai by land <coughs> obey the Baron they're afraid that's all Find a way in. If possible, don't kill the slaves. They're not. They just obey the Manai by Lair. Obey the Baron. They're afraid, that's all. about the locals here this place they're just kids and all have been under brainwashing for ages so we probably should take pity on them so a great 
Well, let's do this. Open All right, shit. I'll raise it and you get through. Nobody go, nobody fool. We stand here all day here. You suck. Better go home. Huh? Who's there? Who goes? Nobody go, nobody fool. We stand here all day here. You suck. Better go hunt, find some food, make slave more use that way. Waste the time again. Faster, fuck! You work or you go after dog! Waste of time again. Why master not make me warrior? I won't kill him. We want glory. But we stand here. Ah. This good place. To nourish up. No problem. I stay here forever. Dead? No, alive! Here! Help! Don't shoot! Please, don't shoot! He's come to kill! He's come to kill us all! And we have no power to stop him! Oh, holy flame! Why you not protect us? It was nothing at all. Better than enemy. I don't want to die! Not now! Not in the air! I want to live! Not want to be warrior anymore! Oh, <laughs> This is bullshit.
now not a day I want to live, not want to be warrior anymore, I work with forever, just let me be the only friend. What's with that? I can't. He's here! Watch! Now, not today. I want to live, not want to be warrior anymore. I want to live forever. Just to be This is getting annoying. I could have done him.
Please don't shoot me! I am good to I obey! Please, Mirza! We all die. All die. I don't want to die. Not yet. Please, only for him, save me. Please. I don't want to die. This is knock out the slaves. For nothing. I have good news. 
Look, the tank is full. Just what we need. Uh, there is also bad news. The gate is locked and we can't take it out. Colonel, sir, Damir here. We have secured the tank, but encountered uh, a problem with the gate. Copy that. We're going with plan B, then. Act accordingly. See, the cable connects the gate and the top of the tower. How do we get there, though? Oh, it looks like a veritable fortress. Gentlemen, surely you're not seriously intending to attack our fortress. I do respect your courage, but simply throwing your lives away is such a waste. Who is in charge between you two? Come up here. We have things to discuss. Just you listen to that bastard talk. A complete about face. And we did throw a wretched into his plans big time. Point the gun down and come up. Otherwise, we'll have a pointless bloodbath on our heads. Agree now. Just do it. You Open the gate and go? let our guests in. I am up on the tower already. I have a plan. Come up! We won't even touch you. Unless you really ask for it. Mm, I don't like this, but... There is no other way. If we don't get out of this desert, we we're as good as dead. Good luck, Artyom. If the deal goes south, I'll... Well, I'll do what I can. What the fuck are you saying? No, there's too many of them to come. It's like fucking here. One more word about that bitch slaves, girl. Even some women. Get over here. Baron's quarters are probably... Go around them stinkers and just uh, get to the next floor. House. That's the word. And the boss hates stench. Why don't you fucking catch it from them? Come on, why the fuck does it take so long? You could do it with your eyes closed, I know that! Will you stop bugging me? You should leave. Move it, move it! I'm making something for the boss here. You just take a detour? See, there's some apes doing their stuff here. Fix that shit! Well, you just fucking pull it! Put your back into it! Why the fuck did we see you yesterday? Stand the fucking disturbing here. Fuck it! Get up before he sets us all on fire! What the fuck, you son of a bitch? That one sure got fired over his stupidity! Yeah, I'm sorry, master. I'm your slave. Was not on purpose. Shut up! I'll teach you how to serve now! I'm sorry, Master! D don't teach, please! I put... No kill, Master Misa. No kill, please! Master angry, but still Master! If Master dies, they kill me next! Thank you. Mirza saved me. And Master oh, wakes up. I don't remember I what was. was. When the others wake up, Mirza. Look, you go up the ladder. I remember Mirza all my life. Pass the headquarters, then pass the harem, and you'll end up right at the boss's door. The holy flame protect you, Mirza. Huh? Move it, move it. What? Come on! Who goes? What's taking so long? Work all day, no rest at all. This is no life. Come over here already! What the fuck are you fucking look at that? The whore drank master's water. Gonna give her a lesson. Forgive now. me, Uli Mirsa. I You're don't... a talk! Shut the fuck Less up! Less than a talk! The water is for people! Ah! For the master! Do you get it? Ah! Hey! You! Move it, move it! Get your ass over here! Come on, up the ladder with you! Oh, the yes, boss don't like me! Throw this piece of shit out of here! Throw it away! It's one of those new arrives! Right now! Come to lick the boss here! Yes, yes! They did Dusty and the boys in, and now think the boss is gonna let them out of Actions Yeah! Keep on drinking! Moment. Are you dead? 
he's gonna string them all up by their balls for that shit. What's the hold up? You want to see the boss? Come on in. Don't waste boss time here. Did you expect a different reception? <laughs> Alter your web. Here we can talk without the masks. I trust everyone present. really bothered by your little mischief. Well, you see, this world is a harsh and chaotic one. I'm just doing my best to introduce a little order into it, without which there is no hope for something better in the future. And with no hope, you can't live. But let us cut to the chase. You definitely did not come here to enjoy the scenery. Ergo, you have a goal. And that goal is probably far from here. I respect people with a purpose in life. So, I am ready to provide you with fuel for your journey. I'm not asking for much in return. Surrender Gyul to me. Bring her to me, and we all win. I have you. You will have your fuel. Everyone gets to live long and prosper. Now what? Start walking out of here. Thank you for your cooperation. Look, it's one of those new arrivals. Come to me. <laughs> Look, just go. Hey, pretty boy. Did you come from a star? 
You're the one to see the ball. Did you expect a different reception? <laughs> Alter your weapon. Here we can talk without the masks. I trust everyone present implicitly. You find it weird they're not really bothered by your little... Mischief. Well, you see, this world is a harsh and chaotic one. Where's the blue head? I'm supposed to have blue head. I'm just doing my best to introduce a little order into it. Without which, there is no hope for something better in the future. But with no hope, you can't live. But let us cut to the chase. You definitely did not come here to enjoy the scenery. Ergo, you have a goal. And that goal is probably far from here. I respect people with their purpose in life. So, I am ready to provide you with fuel for your journey. I'm not asking for much in return. Surrender gear to me. Bring her to me, and we all win. I have you. You will have your fuel. Everyone gets to live long and prosper. Now what? Should have made some medicines for the fight. Oh, my bad. Kill that! Artyom, get 
You went all out here, didn't you? What am I supposed to do? Whoa! Oh, oh, impressive! So, this is the plan Jules was talking about. What the hell is going on there? Get out of there! I'll send people to cover your retreat! <laughs> <laughs> the door's giving! Now let's give it a shot, Artyom! You gave my people hope. I'll never forget it. But this war has only started for me, and I must see it to the end. The winning end. Oh, let's go, Artyom. Thank you for helping my people. I'm in your debt forever. <laughs> I was so worried. Good shit. Fanatics on the banks of Volca. Cannibals in the mountain bunker. 
slavers on the shores of the dried out sea? How many monsters has the war given rise to? Or perhaps were they always there? And the war simply gave them a chance to show themselves and now we're stuck with them forever. Regardless, we can't afford to lose hope. We are getting ever closer to our dream. Finding a place where we could live, free from radiation and mutants. The maps we recovered in the desert have provided us with several promising options. And now the crew members are excitedly waiting for the colonel's decision on where the Aurora should go next. Currently, though, the train is calmly rolling eastward. The crew rests, and Stepan proposed to Katya. It was a proposal she couldn't refuse. like Marty Friedman. <coughs> Damn coughing. We've left those sands long ago, and it still persists. <coughs> What does Crest even smoke? <laughs> it's terrible. In any case, I'm better now. I hate to interrupt, guys, but uh, you should come to the mess hall. The table is almost served. Thanks, Stepan. We'll be there in a moment. Shall we go, Artyom? Or shall we stay a little longer? It's so nice. You know, Artyom, I've been looking at Stepan and Katya, you and me, and thinking how lucky we are. It was so different with my parents. It was bad. Did I ever tell you why my mom died? Of course I didn't. It was because of Dad. He used to be even harsher back then. He used to come home from the barracks and reach for the bottle while taking off his boots. They'd quarrel, and then he'd stop appearing for a time. And while he was away, she'd start drinking too, and crying when she was sober. She'd feel better, would get kind of dreamy when drunk. You know how she used to call me, just A. She'd hug me and say, one day, A, you and I are going to go to Vladivostok, the city I was born in, and from there to a village on the ocean shore. I was five back then and didn't really get much. But I could imagine that village and the ocean so vividly because I believed her. And then she killed herself, drank some kind of poison. Father quit drinking after mom's death. Didn't ever pay much attention to me, but with her gone, he'd never leave me alone. Took me along everywhere. We only talked about her a couple of times though. I used to have this doll, Jana. I played make-believe that she was my daughter and we went to the ocean together. Then my father hid it, told me it got lost. He probably didn't want me to agonize over mom's dream. Then I imagine she grew up and went to Vladivostok. And now I'm going, not to Vladivostok, but with you. The dream came true. By the way, I was always intrigued by what Dad dreams about. He should have some dreams, so what are they? Higher rank? He could choose any. Saving people? What would the saved do next? Sit underground? I never understood him. What does he hope for in life? What makes him happy? Nothing, perhaps. He never really had any time to think about tomorrow. Down in the metro, those thoughts don't come casually. Here on the surface, though. I, for one, have something I want to do. I want to run through the sand barefoot. Build a sand castle for the kids. I'm imagining two. A boy and a girl. The boy would be a copy of you. We'd go swimming with mountains behind us. Wooden houses on the shore. The sun would wake us up every day, rising from the ocean. That harbor is our destination. 
worth going there even if we have half the world to cross. Everyone should have a destination. A point on the map where they aspire to go, and where one could finally be happy. All our guys have their own. We broke out of the metro and are now starting to scatter. Not at once, of course. At first, we're all still running together, searching. But eventually, each of us will find a point like this and stay there. I don't know where my dad's destination is. Don't know where yours is either. But I know I love you a whole lot. Go, Artyom. I'll rest some more and join you later. Everything is perfect, Artyom. Follow us.
Just a second, but What did I miss? You should have seen them Christ dance. Is right. Don't you worry. You'll get another chance. The moment of your attention, please. Half a year on the road, and 4,000 clicks behind us. We have been through a lot. All right, people. I do understand I can't keep it a secret much longer. After a careful study of the satellite maps we've obtained and much <laughs> deliberation, we found a place we could call our new home. <coughs> it is a river valley. There's forest and a hydroelectric power plant. Yeah. This place is quite far from densely populated areas, which, as our journey has proven, is important. We're about two days away from it now. So, Congratulations! Setting that hell she shop is all shut the door. Call emotion blood look. I'll be the door. Shaha. Game restart day. Yeah. Yet, uh, this is not our last <laughs> order of business for today. Step on, Katya. Oh, Prince. Stepan, Katya, repeat after me. I take you to be my spouse. I take you to, to be, be my spouse. spouse. Okay. And, and vow to hold you from this day forward. And vow to for hold better you from this day forward. For, 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 for better or for worse. For richer, <laughs> for poorer. For richer, for poorer. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish until death do us part. As the captain of this ship, I hereby pronounce you husband and wife. Live long and be happy. Oh, and Gorka! 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 Oh my god, she's sick! Oh! No, my wife! I cannot let you cry. Have 
Yeah, I could just say, Montana, ah, boy, what's happening? Be careful, people. Anna, please hold on. What's happening? What is it? What's that cough? Gotcha. Do something. Please. Don't this harm her. Good. Give her air. Damn. What are you talking about, baby? In the Yamantau, when they dragged me away, that ghoul doctor said my lungs were falling apart. The gas I breathed in that ammo dump he said I don't How have long. How could you believe that monster? We've just been through a desert and all that sand, so that might be the reason. Katya, Artem, a few words. I'm all right, Artyom. Go. I'm fine now. Bye. What is your mind of a life? It's too sad. I don't know about this. So, son, care to tell me what do we do now? Let us not panic and think constructively. So, Katya, what do you think? I think that trusting some degenerate's diagnosis wouldn't be wise. A move from humid metro into the desert with its dry heat and sandstorms is a stress for life. Yes, I do think she'd be hit really bad right off the start had it My been thoughts gas. exactly. Thus, first I'll check her condition to the best of my knowledge. Also, we're approaching the valley with its forest air. That alone could heal her. I'm sorry to intervene, but did something happen? Ah, oh, Anna coughed up some blood. My god. Do you really think it's the same? Sounds more like TB to me. That's for sure. TB we can handle. We've got enough antibiotics, and air does help with that. What if... What if that degenerate was right, Katya? What do we do? Is there a medicine? There was an air defense battery station in our village. Right on the brink of war, they received a new drug. It saved a lot of people after gas exposure and general poisoning. I'll check my mom's records and find its name. I think it was produced in Novosibirsk. Right, Novosibirsk. Yermak, your opinion. For Anna's sake, I'd go to the edges of the earth. As for Novosibirsk, it's about 2,000 clicks. Then it's decided. We head for the valley. If it is suitable, we settle there. If our state worsens, I'll take a group of volunteers to find that drug. So Katya, please, find that name for us. I'll find it. Don't worry. One more thing, Artyom. I want no surprises in that valley. You are our most seasoned scout, so take the rail car, one volunteer, and go check everything out before we arrive. Let's go back for now. Tell Anna and the people to calm down. Now I understand why she was so down with me. Just imagine thinking about all that for so long. Artyom, don't so, waste time. What is the jury's verdict? <laughs> Now, here are your orders, everyone. First of all, stay calm. The plan stands. We head for that valley with its fresh air and clean water. Then we go about settling there. If Anna's health... Dad, please. I repeat, Anna, in case you start getting worse, there's a drug Katya told us about, so we can go and find it for you if it is needed. Hmm, that sounds like a great plan. I'd also like to say this. Guys, please don't worry. I've been feeling pretty bad as it is for ruining the party. Oh, come on. You didn't ruin anything. I just brought myself down to rock bottom over that bastard from Yamantau. Though it must just be the sand and desert climate. Of course that must be it. We were discussing exactly that just now. All right. A toast to you guys. Just be happy together. Great! Yeah! Stefan, will you play that song? Oh, that yeah. Yeah, song it was fine. Fine.
surprises like the ones we had on the Volga or in Yamantau. So we're sending a scouting party ahead on a rail car. Let me save this song. Artyom needs a volunteer to support him. Me! Pick me! I'll check the hell out of that valley, please! <laughs> Something makes me think that Alyosha is mainly going to check if there are any Amazons or women in general there. <laughs> So we're all set. Frankly, I envy you, Stepan. You got a full family, a wife and child at once. And you don't have to worry about diapers or belly aches. Envy is a bad thing. <laughs> we're not the ones to avoid diapers, Colonel. In fact, we're planning to present Nastya with a little brother, if she doesn't object. I'd rather get a sister. We could play with dolls together. I could care for her. You could play Sparta in special operations with the brother. Ah, cut it out, Stepan. God knows we've had enough of operations. I don't know about you, but I'm tired. I'd like to retire. Time to have some life. You can't retire yet. You're too young. <laughs> I am old, Nastya. You're not. Ah, you said envy was a bad thing, Nastya. Huh? But what am I to do? Your mom has you, but my Anna doesn't have a smart girl like you. Dad. Don't dad me. A 20-year-old won't even think about children. But I would sure like to see grandchildren at my age. Yeah, you'd teach them CQC. Dual-wielding pistols. <laughs> I could come visit you. Of course, you're welcome. 
welcome, Nastya. The thing is, Grandpa Miller won't give up until he has grandchildren of his own. Hear that, Artyom? I don't even know what else to say. She's beautiful, sporty. Yeah, I'm Olympic level with a rifle. I get not having kids in Metro. Darkness, TB, rats, mutations. But what about here? <laughs> All right, Dad. We'll get to work on solving your problem tonight. Dad, <laughs> <laughs> not. How about a drink? To repopulation of Earth. Two kids. Yes, two children. Two children. Just like water. Ooh, this is good. One more toast to the new colony. May it grow and prosper. Wow. To the new colony. colony. <laughs> Why does it do the toast? And having more women join it. <laughs> Alyosha, I never doubted you. Yes, Alyosha. I don't think you should be worried about that. If we are successful, there will be people joining us. Honest, good people. I'm sure they survive too. Well, if any bad people decide to show up, they'll be sorry they did. <laughs> oh, definitely. When we're done with the bad apples here, we might think of something to do about Moscow. That's true. To love! To love! Just oh, like water. Oh, this is great. Oh. Yes. Ambrosia. Oh, this is rough. It's your turn, Artyom. Come on, impress us. What? This heat is just so unbearable, I must say. Hello, my friend. Well, Bratucha, I'm not sure you have a scare. Boy, but don't you worry. It does look like tuberculosis, but Katya is a real medic. She, no, she'll put her back on the feet in no time at all. Oh, besides, there's finally something nice ahead. The river, 
a forest, even a hydroelectric dam. <laughs> that sounds interesting, but I haven't fixed one yet. So don't worry, Artyomich, everything will be fine. Soon we'll have a chance at normal lives at that valley, you know? Are you and Anna gonna have kids, Artyom? It's about time, Bratucha. Moscow doesn't sound right for those with radiation and all, but the valley... Oh, that's the place. And Stupan and Katya would follow suit, too, since they're married. <laughs> we do have to populate the colony, you know. We'll build a good one, too, with some skilled people and, most importantly, smart people. And we'll surely attract more. And if some assholes decide to crash the party, ho, 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 we'll send them packing in no time with our guys. Of course, that valley needs checking out first. The colonel is absolutely right. But you and Alyosha, you can handle that, no problem. Boy, that cursed mountain? Oh, I had this nasty feeling back then. I even told the colonel, why? He was so eager to see that minister of his, he didn't care. Not quite like him, huh? Well, that's to be expected. You know, everyone has a string which, when pulled, makes you forget about everything else. Tissy got shot like a dog and serves him right. Remember how he rushed to fight the Baron? That one was a real bastard, of course. Treating people like that over nothing, yeah, just as bad as the Astrakhan gang. Tisty got shot like a dog and serves him right. Would be nice to wipe out all of his lieutenants, huh? You know what, I'm sure Gyul will handle them just fine. Oh, she's not a girl who'd leave a job half done, huh? <laughs> So what I'm saying is, we weren't roasting in that oven for nothing, huh? We also helped people, besides getting those maps. Ah, well, I think I'll finish with your trophy here. Go prepare the rail car for a recon trip with Alyosha. Speaking of him, I think he wanted to go with you so badly because he also had a feeling, you know, in his usual direction. <laughs> Look after the Tletcher before he finds his, uh, you know, head stuck somewhere nasty, will you? Still, I have to give it to you, Bratucha. Bringing this beauty here was a stroke of genius. I feel she's going to help us a lot. Mind you, I'm not trading my rail card for anything in the world, but this baby here is just amazing. Never mind the looks, her engine has been finely tuned and maintained. She's got a strengthened frame and springs, even her brakes are in perfect order. The mechanic's skill and passion are as plain as day here, and I love that. I really, this thing reminds me of my old bay. The one I once drove out of Kadui. A ton and a half truck from that war had been rusting in a scrapyard for 40 years at least. Ran on firewood like the Aurora. Of course it was more memory than a truck. The cabin was all rotten, plywood don't keep that work. Platform was missing altogether, but the engine with the gearbox and the gas generator was still there. The frame was okay. Yeah, that was a piece of work. A month without taking a break. But in the end it ran. Then, I put the body of the same minibus you have here on the top of the freight. And driving that Franken bus, I went as far as Astrakhan. Mind you, that thing didn't have more than 30 HP on its birthday. Terrible hassle, too. But you not just have to chop firewood, you have to make the sticks even and nice, or else it doesn't run well. Takes a lot of experience, like eating up a proper sauna, you know? So, I'd spend half a day getting ready, a couple of hours driving, yeah. Fell in love with that thing, oi, mamachka. No wonder after all that effort. Still, had to give it to one bastard in Astrakhan. Otherwise, I would have just been killed right there, and that's if I got lucky, huh? So that's how it went back then. As for this beauty, I'll take good care of her. For all time's sake, she'll be winning every car show we run across, huh? Ain't she a beauty? Ulf ty krasovitsa maya, like a bride on her wedding day. Perfect! 
So, there you have it, Bratucha. There you have it. As you can see, we're busy with giving the weapons some proper care after the desert. Sit with Artyom, me, Artyom. You should go to the bridge. The colonel's waiting. You can tell us later. That's a beautiful song. Stepan, play some more. Stepan, could you give us that one? By Borisich. My pleasure.
beautiful then we did g forces you don't have to record every kill g force in the meantime alyosha and i are on a recon mission we have no idea of what is waiting for us there Though Alyosha seems convinced that there are going to be crowds of women eagerly anticipating his arrival. If that turns out to be the case, then I have the best companion possible for this mission. Yes, I must say. I'm rather partial to this valley. Take air for a while. Makes your head swim. Never smelled air like this in my life. I bet if we spend a week there, it won't just cure Anna. It'll make Colonel grow his feet back. are all bent. The whole track seems to be fixing to slide down. I sure hope it can hold our weight. Let's hail the Aurora and until then to take the other road. Come in, Aurora. This is forward recon. Do you read? Over. Situation is completely awesome, Colonel. Sir, Anna is sure to love it here. Over. Glad to hear that. Carry on. Aurora, over and out. So the plan goes like this. We get to that dam, check it out quickly, and call them over. Just take a look at all this beauty, huh? Don't you want them to see it sooner? Look at that church for me. Caught your friend, but I can see you're torn on bandits. 
I'll help you out if you don't do anything stupid. Gotta run now. Just stay out of sight and you'll be fine. Catch you later. Interesting. That's it for today. I think I'm gonna take a break and stream again on the midnight. Thank you for watching.